In tree climbing, there's a lot of confusion about MRS open and closed systems. By the end of this video, I'm sure you'll be 100% confident in knowing what they are. Let's get to it. One of the first MRS systems that you'll learn in tree care is like the traditional one. With that, you'll have your rope thrown over a branch and you'll connect it to a snap or a clip. And with that, you'll have a bridge. And with this tail, this bridge, you're gonna create your, your climbing hitch. So here I'll tie a Blake's. And once you tie your Blake's, what you're gonna create is a closed loop system. So there you go. So right here, it's a closed loop system. So because you have one rope and you um, connect it to the snapped and with this bridge, now you've closed it off. So it's one complete loop. So this is a closed loop system. Um, now with a closed loop system, if you're gonna advance, you have to untie everything and then throw your rope a little higher. So this is the closed loop system. Now this hitch, on the other hand, is an open hitch. Now it's an open hitch, is because when you connected it here, now you have a tail. And to lock this off, now you'd have to put a stopper. So you, you put your stopper knot here, and now you've locked, locked it. But it is an open hitch. This is a closed loop, but this is an open hitch. So the next thing I'll talk about is um, a open loop system and same an open hitch system. So we get to it. So this next system, you'll require like a, a snap or a carabiner, and then you're gonna use the end of the line. It's not gonna be one solid piece. So you'll need to use a termination hitch or not. So um, what I'll use here is a double fisherman's connecting to the carabiner. Okay. So now once I've gotten this tied, the next thing I'll do is I'm going to use a split tail. Now there's split tails that have spliced eyes that will work. And with that, then you'll you'll tie your, your friction hitch. So I'll do the same thing. I'll tie the Blake's. And connect it together. All right. And this is the same thing where it's a hitch, but it's still open and it requires a stopper. So should be a figure eight. I don't really have a lot on that, but just for the example here, it should be a better figure eight. But here you go. So now what happens here is you'll connect this to your saddle. Now the benefit of the, now so this loop system right here, it's now an open loop system because now you can disconnect with your termination or your friction bridge. It's open and then you can reconnect quickly. So this is an open loop system. It's a real great benefit if you're having to advance up a tree. And the other system, the traditional one, you, where you have to tie, untie everything. This one is a little bit simpler. So now you just disconnect, put your lanyard on and reconnect back. But this hitch over here is still an open hitch. So that's the one that requires a stopper at it. So that's another um, method or another system in MRS. So next we'll go to the closed hitch and open loop system. On this third system, I'll show an open loop system with also a closed hitch system. So first I'll get my uh, termination knot, which I'll, I'll again, I'll use a double fisherman's. And so for terminations, you could use like a double fisherman's or you can use an anchor hitch and some people prefer a bunt line hitch. 
So all of those termination hitches would be good to use on a carabiner. So this will be my termination end. And for my climbing hitch, now what I'm going to use is a pressic cord. So with a pressic cord, I'll tie a Michoacan. Now with, with pressic cords, there's so many options nowadays. There's um, a lot of different hitches and you can get a lot of different um, the hitches can move like easy or you know kind of to your liking that's kind of a benefit of that okay so I've tied my hitch I'll throw a pulley underneath of it and then I'll get the carabiner and connect it so I'll put the carabiner through this eye here through the becket of the micro pulley and back through the other eye. Now doing this, it creates a closed hitch system. Whereas the Blake's, you have to have a stopper. Both of these eyelets are locked in to the carabiner. So this is a closed hitch system. And then with this termination end, I would put my termination onto my saddle. So I'll bring my saddle over. So what I would do is lock it into the, my ring or, or um, the D's on my saddle. And then I will put my friction cord onto there too. Now this is creating an open loop right here. Where the first one we looked at had that one piece and it was locked and it was a closed loop system. Now with this it's still considered like a split tail but now it's a closed hitch system. So uh, a real good thing about this is there's so many different types of hitches you can use, different lengths of cord, and it's just as easy to advance up a tree as if you had the regular old split tail system. I'll review all three systems again. Before I do that, I, I wanted to mention that in the past, this system had been called the double, double rope technique. And um, then the, the birth of the SRS, the stationary rope system, started changing the names of, of the systems. So they now call this the MRS system. And the reason they call it the MRS system is because um, as you um, move your hitch upward, the entire mo rope moves. It, it, it moves over the branch and in time your whole mo rope will be moving. So that's that's the reason they're calling it the MRS system nowadays. So in this traditional system, we created the closed loop system. That's because your rope is connected to your snap and it's still connected and your bridge comes up to your friction hitch. So now this portion is a closed loop system. Now if you want to advance, you have to untie it you know you have to untie your friction hitch and then you could throw your line over another branch and bring it back to you and retie it again so that is a closed loop system now the hitch that you're using is an open hitch because you'll tie your hitch and you have to put a stopper some of the other open hitches would be a taut line hitch and also a pressic now those are also open hitches so now we'll move on over to a open loop system so we're gonna say that this is where you connect onto your saddle now that's the benefit to this system you have a termination end connected so when you're going to advance upward you can just disconnect real quickly and connect it back to yourself you don't have to untie your friction hitch so it is an open loop system but you do still have I retied this to a taut line hitch you have an open hitch and it is an open hitch because now you have a stopper here now we'll go to the next system where we have it's still an open loop system and it's already connected to the saddle so where I would want to, you know, throw my lanyard over, I could disconnect my termination, go over a branch and bring it back to me.
but now we have a closed hitch and it's closed because it's a eye to eye pressic and both of the eyes lock onto that carabiner. There's no need for a stopper and there's no way that it's ever going to come undone. So it is a closed hitch system. Open loop system and a closed hitch system. Now with a press it cord, there's so many different hitches that you can use and they have a lot of different abilities more than I would say a tot line hitch, a Blake's or a Presic. There's so many different like some run really fast and some are a little bit more sticky but bottom line it'll be locked into place so it'll be a closed hitch system. Well there you have it MRS open and closed systems. I hope this cleared out some cleared up some of the questions that people have regarding the open and closed systems. When it you know I get a lot of questions on like what system is better. You know, you got to boil it down to what your personal preference is. You know, everybody has their preferences and they like how something works. So you got to really find that out on your own. But me personally, what I like, I like the open loop system and a closed hit system. If I'm going to be using the MRS system. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And by all means, share our videos. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.